The Liberal Party is spending up on primetime TV ads to highlight the risk of a hung parliament if it loses the seat of Wentworth. Voters go to the polls in the Blue Ribbon Sydney electorate next weekend and the Morrison government faces a nervous week in parliament awaiting their verdict. From Parliament House, National Affairs Correspondent Greg Jennett. This is my first public attempt at a handbook. Oh. Leadership can mean ignoring advice. You got any tips on your mate? Yes, don't. <laughs> Especially when you're new at it and playing catch up. His prime ministership so far been marked by a willingness to take a gamble. How are you? But glaringly not on the first electoral test of the Morrison era. I keep a little majority in Canberra. Dave Sharma's ground campaign in Wentworth's zeroing in on the consequences of electoral failure. A hung parliament, uh, independence holding the balance of power and all the uncertainty that would bring for the country. So is the Liberals' air campaign. Labor and independence would mean a weak economy. In paid primetime advertising, the defence of its Wentworth heartland comes down to this. Labor and Phelps don't risk it. Some argument that people in Wentworth are going to bring down the whole government as much as I wish it might be true, it is simply not true. Even if Dave Sharma fell short and a sixth crossbencher came to Canberra, those sitting on it are at pains to stress they're not paying for the Morrison government to fall. Is this every Sunday? I think you'll find that it'll be a very constructive parliament uh, and it is not something to be feared uh, and we will work well with government uh, just like uh, the crossbench has for the last two years. What I will do is to seek to be a stabilising influence, a moderating influence and a, a local independent voice. Labor's man's a long shot, but his role is to send ripples of disruption. <laughs> and his party's backing the strategy. We never asked for him and Abbott and Turnbull to waste time fighting over each other's jobs. It adds a book to run nationally from tonight. Scott Morrison, we never voted for him. If the government's worst fears came to pass, then this would be its last week in Parliament with an outright majority, which is why stability and order will be the catch cry. And strangely, its chances of achieving that are good. Two major pieces of legislation come complete with guaranteed bipartisan support. Not much else on its parliamentary agenda is highly contentious either. MPs returning from afar seem indifferent to any dangers. It's not not good, not healthy having a uh, not having a, a uh, majority parliament, but uh, it can be done and uh, it will be done. We'll get to the other end and we'll either be in the penthouse or the shit house. <laughs> Simple, really. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.